Question 1. Mira saved $50 of her allowance and spent the rest. If she increased her savings by 30%, her spending would decrease by 5%. How much was her allowance? Step 1. Let's change all the percentage to fraction. 3 out of 10. For 5%, it is 1 out of 20. Let us focus on the second sentence. Let's ignore the percentage for the moment. If she increased her savings, you think about it. The only way she can increase her savings, it, the additional amount of money it must come from where? It must come from the spending. So if she were to save, say, $10 more, that $10 must come from the spending. So she would need to spend $10 less. If she increased her savings by $50, it means she will have to spend $50 less. So what this sentence is trying to say is 3 10 of her savings is equal to 1 out of 20 of her spending. Okay? It means this fraction is equal to this fraction. Alright, so from here, remember when a sentence mentions something like a fraction is equal to another fraction, step one, we make the numerators into the same number. So for this case, three and one, we will make this into three. So what is the equivalent of one out of 20? We can times three, times three, we will get three out of 60. So after we have achieved a common numerator, three, and 3, we will look at the denominator. The denominator value tells us about the total number of units. So for savings, there will be 10 units. And for the spending, it will be 60 units. So in total, her allowance amount is 70 units. So how do we figure out what is the value for 70 units? We know that at the beginning, she has 10 units of savings, which is equivalent to, which is equal to $50. The first step, 10 units is equal to $50. The second step, 1 unit will be $50 divided by 10 to give us $5. Next, to figure out the allowance amount, so allowance amount which is 70 right 10 plus 60 so it's five dollars times 70 to give us the answer of 350 dollars question two john had 140 stamps and 10 percent of them were from germany his father then brought back some more stamps from Germany and gave it to John. The percentage of his stamps that were from Germany increased to 25%. How many stamps did John's father give him? First step, let's change all the percentage values to fraction. So for 10%, I'm going to change it to 1 out of 10 and... For 25%, I'm going to change it to 1 out of 4. For this question, I'm going to use a ratio table to solve the question. So let's set up the table. At the beginning, 1 out of the total 10 units of stamps is from Germany. Hence, 1 unit is from Germany, while the remaining 9 units are from are not from Germany. After that, when he received even more stamps, the ratio becomes 1 is to 3. Now, why 3? Because 1 out of the total 4 units are from Germany, so the remaining 3 quarter, 3 out of 4, must be not from Germany. Hence, 1 is to 3. If you think about it, the number of stamps from Germany changes 
However, the number of stamps not from Germany, they stays the same. Hence, the 9 units here and the 3 here, they must be the same. How do we make them into the same number? So we're going to multiply this by 3. And we're going to multiply this by 3 to give us 9. Such that they are the same. So to explain again at the beginning, the ratio is 1 is to 9. After that, it became 3 is to 9. Where do the increase of 2 units of stamps come from? They have to come from the father. Now we can write down the steps. Given that, we know 10 units of stamps is equal to 140. So 10 units is equal to 140 stamps. 1 unit will be 140 divided by 10 to give us 14 stamps. Now, how many stamps did John's father give him? John's father gave him 2 units of stamps, isn't it? So, the final step, number of stamps John's father gave him is equal to 14 times 2 to give us 28. Question 3. Sally, Eve and Laura have some savings. A third of Sally's savings is equal to 40% of Eve's savings. Laura saves 20% less than Eve. If Sally saves $30 more than Laura, what is their combined total savings? Again, step 1, change all the percentage to fraction. So 40% is 2 out of 5. 20% is 1 out of 5. This is quite similar to question 1. So we're going to focus in on the second sentence. A third of Sally's savings is equal to two-fifths of Eve's savings. As mentioned in the previous questions, whenever a sentence mentioned a fraction is equal to another fraction, step one, make their numerators into the same number. So between one and two, obviously, their common numerator will be two. We're going to change the one third to 2 out of 6, all right? The equivalent fraction. What do we do after we have achieved a common numerator? We look at their denominator. The denominator will represent their total value in terms of units. So Sally's savings is 6 units. Eve's savings will be 5 units. So let's draw this down first. For Sally, we will have 6 units, so something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For Eve, we're going to have 5 units. Okay, to repeat, after we have achieved a common numerator, the denominator, for this case Sally, will be 6 units. And Eve will be 5 units. The denominator will represent their own total. Okay, as drawn here. Moving on to Laura. Laura saves 1 fifth less than Eve. Which means if Eve has 5 out of 5, given that Laura saves 1 fifth lesser, Laura would be 4 out of 5. And in this case, Eve does have 5 out of 5. And Laura saves one fifth lesser. So for Laura, you'll be four units. Okay, four out of five. Moving on, if Sally saves $30 more than Laura, so we're going to compare Sally and Laura. So the difference of two units over here must be equal to $30. And finally, the question, what is their combined total savings? 
what is this total amount over here now should be quite straightforward we can see that two units two units is thirty dollars first step next we're gonna find out what is one unit So every unit is $15, which means it's 15, 15, 15, 15. The last step, what is their combined total savings? How many units are there? 6 plus 5 plus 4, that will be 15 units. So combine total savings will be... $15 for a unit, we're going to find 15 units. So that would give us $225 as the answer. Question 4. A portion of a receipt for an oven was accidentally torn off as shown below. Given that now we only know its original price, which is $120, and its 7% GST amount, which is $7.14. Find out the percentage discount given for the oven. We shall start with the GST. Remember, GST is only calculated based on the final amount. In this case, $120 is not the final amount because there is a discount given as shown here. Hence, the 7% will have to be calculated based on the discounted price. So we know 7% GST is equal to, let me write it below, is equal to $7.14. If we were to work our way backwards and figure out the 100%, that would be the discounted price. Discounted price, we will just take seven dollars and fourteen cents to and we divide it by seven to find out the one percent. After that, we multiply by hundred, that will give you hundred and two dollars. This is the discounted price. If you were to work, if you were to calculate seven percent of this discounted price, you will get $7.14, which is the GST. Hence, from $120, after that, you only need to pay $102. So how much is the discount? Next step, the discount would be just $120 minus $102. So we will get a discount of $18. So we can just write, oops, write 18 over here. And final step, how do we calculate the percentage discount given for the oven? To find the percentage discount given for the oven. What is the formula? The formula will be the decrease amount out of the original amount. So what is the original amount? It decreased from where? It decreased from 120, isn't it? So 120, it's the original amount times 100%. This is the formula. So I'll repeat the numerator. You always write down the decrease amount or in this case, the discount given out of the original amount because it decreased from $120. After that, we multiply by 100%. And then from here, we will get the answer of 15%. Remember, when you key this into the calculator, do not key in the percentage symbol. The percentage symbol in this statement acts like any other unit, like kg, meter, liter, dollars, so on and so forth. We do not key in kg or meter into the calculator, isn't it? So we do not key in this percentage symbol into the calculator. If not, you will get a different answer. So 15% is the final answer.